Hi kids, let's try self-exercise 6.11 from KSSM textbooks. Okay, question number one. In planning a flight, a pilot is required to determine the ground speed V km per hour together with the speed and direction of the wind. The ground speed in km per hour is expressed as V equals to 770 sine 135 over sine theta. Okay, so without using a calculator, find the value of V if tangent theta equals to 7 and theta between 0 and 180. Okay, as uh, theta between 0 and 180 meaning that in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Okay, but this one tangent is positive. So then quadrant 1. Okay, so then we draw right angle triangle. Okay, so this is... um. Angle of theta, so tangent is to us, so opposite over adjacent, so 7, 1, so we can find the hypotenuse by using Pythagoras theorem, 7 squared 49 plus 1 squared 1, so square root of 50. Okay, so then um, from here, okay, for sine 135, we can find the operation uh, involve special angle which is equal to 135. Okay, so then we know that uh, special angle 90 and 45, we add, we get 135. So this one is 770, 770 sine 90 plus 45. Okay, over sine theta. Okay, so then we, uh, by using addition formula for sine, so 770 sine 90 cos 45 plus cos 90 sin 45 over sin theta. Okay, over sin theta. Okay, so 770, okay, sin 90 is 1. Cos uh, 45 is 1 over set 2 or set 2 over 2. Okay, set 2 over 2. Plus cos 90 is 0, sin 45, set 2 over 2 or 1 over set 2. Okay, so over uh, sin theta from the diagram here, sin is opposite over hypotenuse which is 7 over 50, set 50. Okay, so then uh, we can simplify this one. Okay, so 770... Mm, set 2 over 2 plus set, mm, this one 0 okay so this one is 0 so set 2 over 2 okay times this one we uh, times set 50 over 7 okay so then we can simplify we got here is 110 okay 110 over 2 set 100 Okay, set one, uh, square root 100 is 10, so we simplify times 10 times 110 times 2, which is equals to 550 kilometer per hour. Question number 2, by using the identity second squared A minus tangent squared A equals to 1, find the exact value of tangent A if second squared A plus tangent squared A equals to 2. Okay, so now uh, second squared A plus tangent squared A equals to 2. Okay, by using this identity, uh, we can uh, substitute second squared is 1 plus tangent squared A. Okay, so then second squared is 1 plus tangent squared A, then plus tangent squared A equals to 2. Okay, here we got 2 tangent squared A plus 1 equals to 2. 2 tangent squared A equals to 2 minus 1 is 1. Then tangent squared A is 1 over set 2. Okay, so uh, tangent A, we square root this one become plus minus set 1 over 2. Or then we simplify become plus minus 1 over set 2. 
Then question number three, Ellie intends to paste the wallpaper by using a collage technique. The diagram on the right shows a triangle ABC which is made up of two types of colored paper. The point D is on AC where AD equals to 7 cm, DC equals to 8 cm, BC equals to 10 cm and angles ACB equals to 90 degree. To avoid wastage, Ellie needs to get the accurate sizes of the colored papers. Find the value of each of the following. Okay, A tangent alpha plus beta. Okay, before I answer this question, we have to extract all the information given from the question. First of all, we need to uh, separate this uh, triangle, uh, the two triangles from the diagram. Okay, for the first one, okay, so since uh, we need alpha plus beta, so... This one, let's say A, B, and C. Okay, so this one 90 degree. This one is alpha plus beta. Okay, this one 10. This one uh, C, A is 7 plus 8, which is equals to 15. Okay, so then for A, we can find tangent alpha plus beta. Okay, alpha plus beta. Tangent is to one, so opposite over uh, adjacent. Okay, so which is 15 over 10 okay uh 3 over 2 okay for question b uh, tangent alpha so we have another small triangle here okay so this one is uh a sorry d this one d this one b this one c 90 degree 10 and 8 centimeter so this is alpha okay so b tangent alpha toa so opposite 8 uh, hyper, uh adjacent is 10 which is equals to 4 over 5 or 0 0.8 c tangent beta tangent beta okay to find tangent beta we need to use uh, value of tangent alpha and tangent alpha plus beta okay we have formula of uh, addition formula of tangent so tangent alpha plus beta is tangent alpha plus tangent beta over 1 minus tangent alpha tangent beta okay tangent alpha plus beta is 3 over 2 tangent alpha is 4 over 5 plus tangent beta we are going to find okay over 1 minus um, 4 over 5 tangent beta okay so this one we simplify okay so this one is um, 3 over 2 times 1 minus 4 over 5 tangent beta equals to 4 over 5 plus tangent beta okay so we expand 3 over 2 minus um, 6 over 5 tangent beta equals to 4 over 5 plus tangent beta okay so then we group together okay so 3 over 2 minus 4 over 5 equals to tangent beta plus 6 over 5 tangent beta 7 over 10 equals to 11 over 5 tangent beta okay so then tangent beta equals to 7 over 22 then state the values of alpha beta angles a uh, b a c angles a d b and angles BDC, the length of BD and the length of AB. Okay, so we need to find one by one. Okay, uh, first of all, angles of alpha. So from question B, so from question B, we got tangent alpha equals to uh, 4 over 5. Okay, so to find alpha is inverse tangent 4 over 5 which is equals to 38.66 okay this is acute angle so we do not consider the angles in quadrant 3 okay we just uh, take the uh, angles in quadrant 1 acute angle okay so uh, to find beta okay so from question c okay from question c 
we got tangent beta equals to 7 over 22. So, beta equals to inverse tangent uh, 7 over 22, same. We consider uh, angles in quadrant 1, okay, which is equals to 17.65 degree. Next, angles BAC. So, we need to uh, draw the right angle triangle. Okay, this one is uh, the big triangle. Okay, so A, B, C. Okay, this one is alpha plus beta. So, alpha plus beta equals to 36 point, sorry, 38.66. 38.66 plus 17.65 okay which is equals to 56.31 okay so this is 90 degree okay to find BAC okay so then angles BAC equals to 180 minus 90 minus 56.31 which is equals to 33.69 degree then angle ADB, okay, angle ADB, so like this, this triangle, okay, um, B, A, D, okay, this uh, angles, okay, this one just now, this is um, beta, which is 17.65, okay, this one, from previous question, 33.69, okay, to find ADB, so, angle ADB equals to 180 minus 17.65 minus 33.69. Okay, which is equals to 128.66. Next, angle BDC. Okay, so we add triangle here. Okay, this one is C. So, 90 degree. This is alpha. Alpha is 38.66. Okay, just now, uh, ADB is 128.68. Okay, so to find BDC, so angles BDC equals to 180 minus 38.66 minus 90. Okay, minus 90. Okay, which is equals to 51.34. Then we are going to find the length of BD and length AB. Okay, to find length BD or AB, we just use uh, Pythagoras theorem from this right angle triangle. Okay, BD first, so the small right angle triangle. So BD equals to square root 10 squared plus 8 squared. Okay, which is equals to 12.8062 centimeter. Okay, so then for length of AB, okay, so length of AB, we refer the big right angle triangle. So AB equals to 7 plus 8, 15 squared plus, uh, sorry, 15 squared, okay, plus 10 squared square root, okay, which is equals to 18.0278 centimeter.